Okay, we got a great app called Instagrabber, which we've already done a video about. There's a link down below or up above. I'm not sure where they're gonna it'll put it. It'll be down below, down below right there. Uh, but if you've already got that and you wanna be able to put it, all your pictures up on the big screen, we got a phenomenal tool called InstaPlayer. And Brad, tell us all about it. All right, come on, let's go show you some InstaPlayer. We wanna play the things we just grabbed. You got the plan where it's at. All right, so what we've got is uh, in Instagrabber, we took all the photos from Instagram, put them into a folder. Now what we wanna do is we wanna show those across the big screen. So we've got InstaPlayer. So it's pretty much, you just turn it on, bam, it works. There's all your images right there. Now you're probably gonna, uh, if you look at those images right there, those are actually images of Brian's kids who are at camp right now. So these are live images they coming. They just took the photos his and we can see them up on our big screen no, right now. Just the, not all of those kids are his, just some of those kids are his. <laughs> just not all. All right, so here's how it works. So we uh, select folder button right here. When you click on that, it's gonna open up and you just look for the folder that you just use for Instagrabber. The neat thing is if you're using Dropbox, you can actually have multiple people using the same folder. It'll sync across all of them. And we've got the code written where we use the exact same file name that Insta Instagram uses, so you'll have no duplicates ever. So if Brad likes a photo and clicks on it, wants to download it, I click on one, it's only gonna be one file. And we, were, we were at an event uh, last week using this, and someone was updating it, someone else was playing it. So literally, he could be updating it from there, and all I have to do is hit update pics, and it would automatically, bam, it updates. And right, we can like, like right now, if I hit update pics, if we loaded more pics into there, if I hit update, you'll see there's a little bit of flash, but that's it. So that's, that's all it takes to update all the pictures in there. You don't have to restart or anything. All right, so now there's a couple different ways we can visualize this. This is the three up mod model. This is probably my favorite. But if you want to, we've also got a one up. Oh, <laughs> that image just has three images. <laughs> they tricked me. But uh, there's just one row going across there. Or we can go two rows going across there. We can go three rows like we just showed you, or you can go to four rows. So just depending on what look you're going for, how big your screen is, or what the overall look is. And even number of photos. If you're going to yeah, a handful of photos, you don't want to use string down. All right, now we've also got some other features on here. Uh, we've also got where you can add your own custom logo over the top of that. So say you want to brand this with your event. So uh, you just click a button here, and we can load in, like that's a Falcons logo, say the Atlanta Falcons. Hey guys, if you want to use our, just let us know. So if the Atlanta Falcons want to use this logo, boom, there it is. Now, we've had some people say, well, what if we want to do like a lower third or like a, uh, a lower third hashtag or just a smaller icon? Well, uh, what you can do is, I made a PNG file that takes up the entire screen and just placed it. So here's a lower third image. If I put it up there, you can see now it's just across the bottom. And that's just so the PNG is the entire size. So just make your PNG to fit wherever you want the logo so to be. So what canvas size do they use? So the canvas size right now is 1080 by 720. PNG, drop it in here, you're good to go. Now we'll say, well hey, that Photoshop is difficult, say you want to do something else, uh, you can just do a straight text file. So you can just literally type in whatever you want right here. Right there. Uh, say it's Brian is awesome. True that, make that uh, Then you can just update that and then Brian is awesome. Oh, it is, yeah. It's overscaling, so <laughs> Brian's too awesome. If for that them. starts trending on Twitter, I'll be very excited. <laughs> but see, but it doesn't fit, so we'll look at that. Oh, I, I can make a medium. I can actually shrink the font size that right here. Awesome. So we have a small, medium, and large. Or if you think Brian's not awesome, you can just leave it blank. So that's an option as well. Some people are using this. They'll go through a background. They'll just run it into a mixer or, or a switcher of some sort and do their own lower third and graphics over the top of that. So for the most part, that is InstaPlayer. Super easy to use, super fun. We use it for walk-in loop, loops. Uh, some people put it down the hallways as people are walking in uh, just to show off your uh, different events, uh, your images at different events, conferences, camps are fantastic. Actually, the wedding scene would be interesting to use it at weddings if you all have. And honestly, if, uh, just tell your parents about it, have them buy it, and then they can keep track of you at camp like Brian does. Yeah, it's fantastic. I love it. That's, that's InstaPlayer. That's it. Thanks.